Kyle, our last day here at Fuji Speedway, and we were definitely blessed with probably the most incredible view of Fuji that we've had so far. Look at this. This is the ultimate way to wake up here in Japan. <laughs> oh, I could literally just stay here forever, guys. I need your help to convince Tiana and Sparko that we need a house here in Japan. <laughs> how mega would this be? So damn cool. No matter how many times we come here, I don't think that anything here will ever get old to me. Anyways, pack up the rest of our stuff in the Evo and make our way back to Tokyo. I think now you can hear all the cars running at Fuji right now. It sounds like some, actually some serious cars up there today, but I don't think there's any better time to do this than right now, right in front of Fujisan. This is the, the safe driving omomori that I got from Hakone Shrine. And we're gonna go ahead and put that on the Evo now that we are good and ready to go. So we have from Scuba-san, winning charm, and from Hakone, safe driving charm. Evo is set up and ready to go. like this is kind of how we're gonna spend our day here. We're making our way back to Tokyo from Fuji Speedway. Pretty long drive, but I mean, this is the most clear that I have personally ever seen Fuji, even more than our Fukone day. And since we're down here at Fuji Speedway, we are like in the countryside, almost as close as you can get, which is really amazing. So we're gonna get some shots before we leave out of the Fuji Speedway area, get the most out of this. This is insane, dude. We are super, super lucky that it's this clear. It's like a speechless kind of, can't really say too much. It's just like, it speaks for itself. <laughs> Stuff like this that I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life. Made it back to Tokyo. We are finally getting an update on our 34 GTR. I'm gonna take you guys along for that. Before we do that, quick lunch break to get, get some food. Gonna be heading to one of our favorite spots, Midori Sebi. Nothing will ever beat super local Japanese food. Oh, dude, that was insane. Dude. How was your first local? That was amazing. Experience? I loved it. That was so good. <laughs> I'm so glad it went well. That was so good. So we were just sitting at the hotel and we have time to kill before check-in and having that time to just walk around and kind of like so do whatever. And then you end up at a spot like that and it ends up being really good. Oh, it makes such a good experience. It's the best. It has been a long few days, but we have finally made it back to Tokyo. Our day is not over. So you guys have been asking nonstop, what is the update or what's the deal with the R34? Engine done, is it getting done? When's it coming to America? Well today, I'm gonna answer that question for you guys. Uh, let's go, bro. So tonight we finally have a co-pilot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Not my wallet. That's a massive wallet. My Japan wallet, dude, my JDM wallet. Oh my god. It holds all my yen. Got mad yen. 
I bought that in Japan like three or four years ago. So pumped, dude. This is gonna be my first time seeing the engine mm. all assembled. Yeah, and it's gonna be sick. Good. Curious if it's got like the intake and like turbos. All right, mission number one for tonight. We're gonna be heading to Norse. What up? What we got? What up, boys? But and we're back in my favorite place ever. We're here at Midori Sebi. I can't wait. It looks good. <laughs> okay, I'll, I will go inside. I'm just gonna scream and you're gonna go check it out. So, if you guys have been living on a rock or just joining us. Um, Midori Sebi is a GTR pro shop out here in Japan. And four or five years ago, whatever it was, when I first came here, my dream and my goal is to have my own R34 GTR built here at Midori Sebi. And over the past couple of years, that's exactly what we've been doing. I'll go inside. I want right. to film your reaction okay. of it. <laughs> so moment of truth to Can I come in? Yeah, come in. Oh my... The turbos are on? Yes. This oh is your baby. Oh my god. It is oh. awesome. <laughs> no way. Damn, it looks good. The it, turbos are on. It looks more complete than what I've seen in like a month ago. It looks so good. Oh my god. Look at the turbos. Look at this. Come see them. Yeah, this I'll is, let, yeah turbo yeah. outlet. Everything is so clean. Keep it. Keep it. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> my dream and my goal is to have my own R34 GTR built here. And we started out with just an exhaust, moved the suspension, did some minor adjustments here and there. And now that the car is able to be imported, the goal was to get the entire thing built. And that's exactly what they've been doing. It's taken a little bit longer than we anticipated. We had to find a block. I actually got this Nismo block from Australia. Shipped it from Australia to here, to Midori Sebi, and that's when they started building all this. And it's been a little difficult finding all the pieces and stuff, but we are like 90% done. All now, you, yeah, all you need is the, the wrinkle head covers. Yes. Oh, don't tell them, don't tell them, they can't know that. Uh, That's an Easter egg, you guys will see that when it's finished. All, all you need is the, the head covers. Yep. The cam, well, camshaft is already inside. You yes. can tell it's HKS by the engravings right there. It's That's HKS. So, cool. so I do have HKS. And then the in injectors here. seems like it. Yep. So HKS oil pump. Yes. Um, But he modified the HKS oil pump to be more efficient and more, the oil more flows better. Yes. And then also the uh, water pump is the Raymax one. It has more teeth inside so that it can spools more water inside without making any bubbles forming so that uh, whenever it gets heated into a certain level, right? Like if you go like do tracking or you go super hard on Togi, then <laughs> it won't like the, it won't water won't right. evaporate inside the oil pump, uh, and, water pump. Yeah, and the reason why I chose Midori Sebi specifically is because when we first came here, we learned about all of this stuff. They do so many little things that's specific to Midori Sebi to put their own touches on their built RBs. That, that's what I really, really wanted. And they've done an excellent, I can't wait to see this thing finished. So we're a little behind schedule. I wanted to give you guys a big update on the engine. So now that the engine's here, let's go ahead and talk about exactly what the build is. This is Uchinaga-san, also Uchinaga-san's son here, and he's the engine builder for Midori Sebi. So we'll go ahead and talk to him a little bit about what we have here. I told you guys we did the Nismo block. We kept it a 2.6, but we did the Midori high-spec street engine. Mm. 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 
、まあ、ピストンを変えて、まあ、メタルとかとダブル PC かけてとか、うんまあ、その辺やってあとはオイルパンなんかねオイルパンバッフルやっぱ入れて、うん、でオイルポンプやってってって感じであとまあヘッドなんかはね今度あのー、まああのポートなんか機械ポートで NC でみんなフルポートやってっていう。He used the existing、um, he used the stock crankshaft the、um, HK forge pistons、um, このこのロッドはコネクティングこのロッドは HK のやつですこれ透明あ透明コネあ透明コネクティングロッツ and、um, the, the crank crank metal is actually、um, it's the OEM one but they WPC did so it、uh, has a special coating on it so that it、uh, rotates smoother and Basically, aside from. Yeah, all like little bits we have like. Yeah, HKS stuff. Cam gears, t h e r e s m o t belt. Yeah, and also the head's been fully rebuilt,、um, fully、uh, NC'd. So it milled it and then kind of has more better flow. Upgraded、um, camshaft, upgraded valve springs. And yeah, somewhere around there. So it's the meticulous build and effort to put to this engine. It's, it's nothing compared to <laughs> your generic overhaul.、Yeah. It's pretty insane. And so we also went with a、uh, Garrett、uh, twin turbo setup because we we're thinking about doing single, but we have the single 32, and I really wanted a well built, streetable R34 GTR. And I figured that like, a high, quick spooling RB26 for the street would just be so good for the 34. Yeah. Especially like, for running toe gain stuff, that's what you guys know we love to do. This specific setup would be so good for that. Unfortunately, it's just a bit coming home though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like I said, we're about 90% done on the engine. And once this engine is 100% complete, my 34 will be coming yes,、we'll、from be top rank to here so that we can do the swap. It was supposed to be done actually right now and getting tuned, but because of the, the part shortage and how long it's been taking to get everything, we've been a little bit delayed. Yeah, you guys should know that this engine is not, no longer in production for so, so long. And then even though the manufacturers are、um, starting to build a upgraded version of its RB26 stuff, At the end of the day, the, like, the Nissan OEM blocks and stuff, they're all been like stopped on order. Some of the parts are really, really difficult to, hard, to come by compared to 10, 15 years ago. So that's why these shortages do happen. And but what the Uchinaga san wants to do is he wants to take his time to build it completely, not only just for you, but also for all the customers. So that he can build a the tip, top, possible yeah, engine. tip yeah. top engine as they can be. And so, one cool thing also that I really liked about here, as well as they have the engine building room temperature control. So, yeah, stays, right there. Stays the same temperature all the time. So, throughout the entire build, the engine is temperature controlled in this room, which、yes. is pretty awesome. Yes. So, yeah, 34 engine is so close. This is so nice, dude. I can't believe this. Even just like the, the heat wrap around the turbo inlets, like the little touches, I think are so cool. So I forgot to mention, we, we did do the GT2860R turbos in the twin setup. Even all the lines have been refreshed. I mean, everything on this engine has been touched. So they even, like, you know,、uh, some of the overhauls, right? Quote、yeah. unquote, they don't, they, whenever they took out the oil, oil pan, they even took out the front diff and then they cleaned it. They blasted off、yeah. all these gunk that's、mm -hmm. been, you know, put together Sitting, for、yeah. like 30 years <laughs> and just wipe it off and then clean it again. And each bolt, One bolt, it's been looked after. So, like, you can tell with your I know, engine, it's、right? crazy. Yeah, I mean, every bolt、There's、has no been. There's no used bolts. There's no, like, oh, <laughs> all, yeah, all, all the bolts are brand new. It's insane, dude. Even this, like, the little things make the biggest difference. So nice. Wow. Yeah, this is. Yeah, like they even、uh -huh. just repainted this.、Because、I know, it looks so、yeah. fresh and like, like it looks brand new.、Yeah. So, I mean, it is brand new. It's just gonna be so awesome.、Yeah. Dude, I literally I can't believe this. I cannot believe this is real life. Bro, you came in 2019, in January, you came to Midori Sebi. I think you put in the clip last time, but you said, one day I'll get the engine built from here. Five years later, man. Five years later. Oh my gosh.
I just, I, it's insane. It's everything I could have wanted. And we've talked about it so many times since we've been here, but I mean, the engine was like tailored specifically to my need. A, a very raw feeling, powerful street car that's gonna be reliable and fun for me to drive just every day. That's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want anything crazy, nothing too high horsepower, something that's daily drivable, but the most fun that you can have in a, a reliable, fully streetable car. And that's exactly what this engine's gonna be. I am so, so damn excited. Doesn't even seem real. Doesn't even seem real. Right around early February is when the car's gonna get shipped over here and the engine's gonna be swapped in and hopefully the first start. Maybe, around mid-February. Mid yeah, it's getting close guys, it's getting really close. Now, you guys probably know if you've been watching for a while, the R34 is eligible for import now. It's ready to go. So as soon as this engine gets into the R34, it's coming to America. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna be a fresh, it's, it's almost gonna be a completely new GTR when it comes to America. Completely fresh build, ready to just be driven and have some fun. <laughs> to be honest, like what uchinaga san told me was everybody can build a, a, a engine. But Midori engine it's is different. different from it because they take care from one tiny bolt. Whenever I checked it out here, they have a, he was checking out the sims and they're like checking out one like micro nano like millimeter differences. That is not been done to other shops. Yeah. Maybe not even this mode too. It's very, very particular, very, very- Precise. Yeah. The amount of precision that it went to this, to build this engine is just astronomical compared to- the Other places. Other manufacturer, other places. Built block, head, all the little pieces, all the little extras that they throw in that just comes from knowledge of doing this. And that's why I love it so much because this is truly just like, it's like a, a very old school GTR specific and it, it comes from years and years of knowledge. You know, they're back in the 90s in the height of all these cars and they've been working and building ever since then. I mean, they've been started since like, <laughs> 1970s, <laughs> wow. late 70s. That's just ridiculous, man. And all the knowledge that they've built over those years, you know, is a culmination of what this engine is. And that's what makes it so special to me. And especially because I came here, like we said, in 2019, and I fell in love with this place and I actually do it, actually have done it. It's amazing. It really is. So not long now, guys, and this engine will be in the 34. We'll be ripping it in America, which is gonna be absolutely insane. Telling you guys all trip, I really, really miss my GTR, and this just makes me really, really miss it now. But soon enough, guys, it's gonna be absolutely insane, and it's gonna be the best car. Oh, you're gonna, you, you will, you're just gonna be loving it more than any of your car. <laughs> it might be even with your life, wifey. <laughs> Maybe Tiana will be jealous about your 34. I'm gonna drive it every single day. It'll definitely be my forever car. Oh yeah, for I'm sure. excited. The but amount it, of memories that we've made in Japan yeah. is like, I did everything I wanted to do. I mean, I traveled all over Japan. We went to all car meets, I mean, toges, we did everything. And now we get to get the engine rebuilt and bring it home with me to have it just forever. Which amount of makes... late nights, amount of amount of midnight drives, amount of uh, amount, a lot of amount of seeing crazy stuff with your 34. It's insane. But also that, you know, closes one door to open another. So we're very, very close guys. Yeah, yeah. And they were also very, very nice to open up the shop just for us, just for me to come see this before I go back home. So we only have one day left in Japan. So this was a great finisher. It's so cool to also have the Tokyo Drift Evo here at a GTR shop. And this is Uchinaga-san's wife's car, a uh, Nismo Note. And it's actually pretty dope. It's got TEs. <laughs> How cool is this thing? Just a, uh, a Nissan family. It's always so cool coming to the shop and see what they have here. Our R34 will soon be here to get built. And I, w I really hope we're able to make it when it actually happens, but thankfully we have Masa here who will get some Masa vlogs on the channel if I can't make it to Japan when they're actually putting the engine in and getting it to start and stuff. But I definitely wanted while we're here to come get an update for you guys. Midori has been closed due to Tokyo Auto Salon and they're even closed today, but like I said, they were kind enough to come open the doors for us and let me check out the engine while I am here. We're so close, so freaking close. I wanted to keep you guys up to date on the R34 because right now, just kind of a waiting game. It's almost done. Samune. 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 Samune.
また来月はいお待ちしてますよはいあー just the friendliest most amazing people ever bye bye ありがとう so awesome Like, this is what, I don't know, like Japanese tuning. Like, when you watch all the anime or all the old school tuning videos, like, this is it. And it's so, so cool to be a part of it and actually really experience it. And over the years, I really hope I kind of have given you guys an authentic experience into, you know, what it's really like here. And like I said, just because the door is closing here in Japan with the R34 and it's coming home to America doesn't mean it's the end. It's just opening the door for what we have coming next. And I'm super excited about that. Um, so, hope you guys, hope this gave you a good update on the R34. Like I keep saying, it's gonna be done very, very soon. It's gonna be such a surreal experience seeing that car in America, seeing it come out of the port with the new Midori engine. First time, and I, the first time I'll ever drive it is gonna be in America. It's gonna be quite the experience, guys. So, with that, we're actually gonna head to Daikoku and hang out for a little bit. We have to have an early night tonight because we have, we have our scuba track event. Coming up tomorrow, so we gotta make sure that we are well rested and ready to go. So let's go have some fun at Daikoku and see if we can find any awesome cars tonight. Bye! Late night Daikoku tradition. Probably one of my top favorite spots for Tokyo and definitely top five favorite burger spots of all time. Uh, always, our, always. Tra our tradition. It's like our Daikoku tradition, dude. Yeah, whenever we go to Gyoji's, we always eat here. <laughs> dude, the smell, the smell of it when you be like open when you that walk door, in. you're walking in, that's like. I'm skeptical because uh, here in Japan, the hamburg steak is very popular. Yes. There's just like a hamburger it's patty. It's terrible. And what? it's like, what the what? Fuck? <laughs> for the most part, they're the like, fuck? they're pretty mid for the most part. Are Below mid. I've only had one Below good one. Mid. I only they're had like one good one. They're like the natty ice of burgers. Dude, oh you guys are God. crazy. F you. Oh, they don't know, guys. You guys know. They don't I know. get offended. Double cheese bar. Hi. Guacamole salsa bar. Hi. What about you? Double. Bacon cheese burger. Ni. Avocado topping. Oh, onion. Ah, I'm going to make it. Ah, I'm It's like a 9 out of 10. It's not a 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like a 9 out of 10, fair, which fair, is pretty good. Fair, fair. Just, uh, uh, what do we think? Are we going to see some cool cars at Daikoku tonight? No. No? Nope. Too cold. I think we'll get lucky. Are we going to bike Too cold. We have made it. Dude, it feels like we haven't done any Daikoku nights or night runs or anything in so long. Yeah, I know. I guess we haven't. No, Auto we Salon's haven't. kind of like we, shut everything down early. I mean, Auto Salon made us not to come here because yeah. it's just going to be swarmed yeah. at a lot of people. We want to be lay low for yeah. this time. Well, it's a relatively quiet night out here at Daikoku, which yeah, is pretty cool. Yeah, and it's like so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> You could have parked at least a little bit better. Like you're not in the <laughs> But actually some really cool cars. We've got the yeah. whole squad here. Albo, Yasuka's car, Larry Chen's here, and the whole squad. Brian and, Brian and Masa. And then look at that Alciana SVX yeah. right there. That's a cool color. I want to check out this, uh, the Thank rally you know. art. Oh, Indra and Yushi are pulling up right now. Nice little squad for tonight. Here's another one of Yushi's race cars. This one's actually really sick. Integra Type R. What up? Drove the Integra today? Yeah. I think it's badass, dude. Just, we went to Scuba. Oh, that's right, that's right, yeah. Pretty sweet. Why are you 
I know Masa likes this. This is the legit GT500, man. <laughs> I'm geeking out right now. I've never seen this in like in Japan. Really? It is so cool. <laughs> it is pretty cool to see in Japan. God dang, it's GT500. <laughs> This is actually super cool. I'm glad we caught these. You never really see these or even hear of these. These are Skyline Japans, and these aren't quite Ken Marys, even though they might look like it. Moss was telling me these are the Skyline after the Ken Mary. Yeah. But these are super sick on the Watanabe's. Dang. I, this. <laughs> I need a Hako first. <laughs> Dang. It's actually quite nice. It's a GC211 Skyline. Yeah, this thing is, oh, that one's really cool, dude. The old school Kaido racer. Yeah, it is, yeah. This thing is super dope, man. Wow, I've actually never seen one of these. Dang, look at the BBS mesh wheels. Super baller. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, L28. <laughs> Baller. <laughs> Out in the wild! So I was just telling you guys about the Skyline Japan and how it takes after the Ken Mary, there's an actual Ken Mary here. And isn't this one of the most rare? Well, it's, if it's a GTR, then yes, okay. but it's of not course. a GTR, it looks like it, but it might be. Still very cool to see in person. Oh, dude. It has a GTR badge. Might be a replica. No, it's not a, it's not a real one. You can tell with the glasses with these guys. Oh, okay. These are for the uh, the heat, like the yeah. wind defroster. If it has a defroster, then usually it's not a real one. But it's still cool nevertheless. Yeah, it's so these. cool to see out. And this one has about nabes as well. Dang. I love the creamy white too. 100% like, it's I, been if, restored. If, if I get a Hako, when I get a Hako. When we hit a million, creamy white Hako. That's what I want. This always reminds me, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to a million and help share the channel because obviously it helps all the videos out. So that'd be super cool. Why don't you let Dustin go for a million, guys? <laughs> this is so awesome. This is what we're working for. So good, dude. It sounds like it has ITVs. All tune on the engine, so. It sounds good, yeah. It sounds really good. It needs to be a million. <laughs> uh, like 300,000 more? No, you're like <laughs> 240K more, right? Yeah, yeah, it's close. Everyone needs to hurry up. Is it? Oh, Have fun that. tonight. I'll you see you in America. Yeah. Back in the, Have oh, yeah. fun States. tonight. Send us some pics. So, me and Masa have a different adventure we're going on. Yeah, we're gonna go home. We're gonna go home. But we have good, <laughs> we, have, we have good reason for that. So. Oh, you haven't told anybody that we're gonna do what you're gonna no, do for tomorrow? No, we should tomorrow? talk to him. We should tell him. No. Let's just keep it for tomorrow's video, okay. right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. We got a, we got a hey good guys, secret. I'm here too. Albo's, Albo's here too. Here. Guys, I, I, was, here I, was, whole, I was just behind the camera the whole time. The best friends haven't been together this whole time. I know, right? What's it's, it been like hanging with just Masa? <laughs> Terrible, right? I haven't even built Masa. Oh, what? No, I've been by myself. Oh. Me and Yushi. What a lonely trip. It's been me and Yushi. Oh, I see. It's, now it's you. Me, Yushi, Yushi and, and, and Indra, yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've been replaced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, for the ride home, some hot Japanese tea. There you go, Masa. Thank you. Come by. Come by. Man, nothing like an awesome day ending out Daikoku and some Kambini coffee slash tea. Ooh, oh, is that Brian? That is Brian. You know a car's uncomfortable to drive when you've got, you've got chafed cheeks. My butt cheeks. Not my whole, okay? Not my whole. My cheeks are chafed from sitting in this seat and bouncing around so much. It's brutal. But again, like I keep saying, I kind of wait, kind of got to weigh the pros and cons of having this car, driving this car out here, because it's damn cool. 
But with that, let's go ahead and head home. <sighs> we made it, Masa. We're back. We're back. We made it home. We, I mean, it's still kind of late. Like, I call it an early night because usually we're not back at the Airbnb until 1 or 2 a.m. But... Worst 3. Yeah, worst. No, the worst one was 5. Yeah, we did. We had a 5 a.m. You saw the 5 a.m. last night. But we're back and we're going to get ready for our extremely long and early day tomorrow. But something that I've wanted to do... Since... For forever. Forever. Since you came to Japan, right? Yeah. It's... Tomorrow's going to be insane. And it's... Tomorrow's not even the real day. It's just practice. Are you already sold about it, everybody? Nah. I told him we're going to scuba, but I didn't tell him. I hope you guys have been enjoying the Japan trip so far. This one's been hectic and kind of all over the place. Nothing's really gone right. It's been crazy. Also, Moss is showing off the, uh, the new Evo collection. I guess this is a good time. Guys, don't forget we have the brand new Evo limited edition collection live right now. Do you remember when we did that, Masa? I know. That was like <laughs> one of the brutal like late, moments. Late night. Yeah. yeah, brutal moments. But uh, this is only available while we are here in Japan right now. Get this limited edition. Uh, we have this hoodie as well as a t-shirt live on the site right now, ready to go for you guys. So sick. All the small details down to even garage door right there, all from our night out in Shibuya. It looks so nice too, and then like... Tonight and tomorrow left, and then we go back home. So really got to make the most out of our last nights here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below. Hashtag made it to the end for us, guys. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and help share the channel so we can get these videos out there and we can continue and, growing the family. And then let Dustin... Let Dustin buy a Hakosuka <laughs> Skyline from Masa. There we go. <laughs> One day. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys for the next episode. Oyasumi nasai. Oyasumi. Oh. Oyasumi. <laughs>